So, I'm a big fan of The Sims 3. Every time I had ever made an account, it was always been normal and fun. This is one time it wasn't. One day, I decided to make a new family in my Sims 3 game. I made a husband, a wife, and two sons. After I moved in my Sims, I decorated their house to be perfect and I gave them good skills and careers. Then one day, while the mother was at the park, I saw a freaky looking man with overalls on and a disfigured face. His nose was really long and wide, and his eyes were curved to look angry, and his mouth curved down like a frown in a ghost-like form. This really creeped me out. I put my mouse over his body to see what his name was, and it was your friend. I laughed a little, thinking it was just a joke. Things kind of like this have happened in the game, like a sim sounding like they're saying you're mine. But I, w but I have always laughed about how little it was. I was wrong about this one, though. I drove my sim home since I was a little weirded out by it still. When she got home, I noticed that creepy sim was still following her. I made my sim go inside and then I locked all the doors in the house. All the rest of the day and the night, the creepy sim stayed outside almost like he was waiting. When he finally left, I went outside and took my wife, sim, and her two sons to the park. When I got there, I saw the creepy Sim again. He walked up to me and continued to follow me again. It was weird because he never tried to talk to me like Sims do when they follow you. He just followed me. For the next two days, every time my wife Sim went out, this creepy Sim followed her everywhere. He never followed the husband or either the two sons, only her. I couldn't call the police in the game since they only help if there's a burglar, so I was pretty much on my own. I didn't want to delete the account since I thought it was just a glitch that would go away. Finally, I tried to talk to this dude to see if there was any way I could stop him from following me. The second I talked to him, though, my hunger went straight to zero, and my sim fell to the ground, dead. The creepy sim just walked away as if nothing happened while the normal sims start to cry. Although being upset about my sim's death, I thought this would be the end of the creepy sim stalking and continue to play the game. That same night, the husband Sim got asked to work overtime, so I said yes. When I got home, I was totally shocked and caught off guard. The whole house was covered in huge flames, fire flames, and I could hear the two sons scream loud inside. I was so shocked, since fires in the Sims can never get that big. And when fires in your in your house start, you get the notification saying that your house is on fire. While my sim frantically tried to put out the flames, I saw the creepy sim standing next to the road, just watching the same, just watching with the same freaky expression. When the firefighters got there and put out the flames. All the house was burned, and the two sons were dead. I was so upset that I was ready to delete this account. Just before I did, though... <coughs> I decided I was going to find out where this creepy sim lived, so I can kill him by lighting his house on fire. When I finally tracked down where he was, I was shocked. He lived up in the high mountains in a rotting old looking house. It looked like there was round stairs all over the brownish green walls of the house and there was a the ground was covered in black piles of ashes. I rang on the doorbell. 
after a few moments later, a little notification appeared. It was the creepy guy's face with a bubble next to it saying, Leave right now. I rang the doorbell again, and this time it said, I would leave if I were you. Finally, after the third or fourth time, he answered the door. His overalls were covered in blood. When I got ready to light the house on fire, I noticed the creepy sim smiling. Ignoring it the best I could, I continued with making the oven set on fire. Once I did, I started running out of the house when I realized that that creepy sim had left the house and somehow locked me in. Since Sims, Sims 3 doesn't let you log off when there's a house fire, I was forced to watch my last Sim die while the creepy Sim watched from the outside. I have never been so scared of a Sims game in my life, and I'm still scared to create another account on my game, fearing it may happen again. If you ever make an account in The Sims and there's a person named your friend, delete your account or least record the things that this sim does because what i wish i had seen nobody believes that i what i've said was true if you ever had any experience with the sim your friend please contact me i want to know how to get rid of him or prevent him from harming any of my future sims i still want to play the game but none of your friend could still harm any of my sims.